Hi there, uh, my name is Maeve Clancy and I am the drawing artist in residence in Mary Macca College for 2017-2018. I would usually divide the residency up into two parts, um, the first being my own artistic practice. So this year um, I really wanted to concentrate on trying things out, experimenting um, and looking mainly at portraiture. So this is a particular image which is a photo of the first graduating class from Mary Immaculate in 1902. Um, I really like this photo and wanted to start working on it pretty much straight away. Um, so I started just drawing some of the people involved. So these were some of the first graduating class who I didn't know who they were. There's a list of names next to this, but they're not sure who's who. Um, so this was one of the first people I drew. I also started looking at patterns um, and tiles around the college. Um, they would have a lot of work a little bit like this on the tiles. And I thought it might be really nice to include this into some of the design. Um, this is an early version of me trying that, so just trying a portrait of one of the people from that original photo and putting some tile work in the background, playing around with the use of line and seeing how I could use lots of kind of cross hatching lines. Here I'm trying it out in a little bit more detail, seeing what kind of effects I can get with line and if I can draw um, with multiple line in a way that gives me a delicate drawing for a pen and ink kind of texture drawing. Um, this is where it went a little bit further. So I'm trying to do a large part of the drawing with that kind of textured vertical line, not so much cross hatching as kind of getting a kind of movement or an angle. Um, and here is where I think that that technique probably worked best, um, where I felt like I got delicate portraits and captured a little bit of the people involved. So working on from these, I then wanted to apply that to some drawings I was doing of students. So this is one of the current students in Mary I, uh, Patrick I think his name is, um, and to just take from a pencil drawing to try to apply that line texture to the same drawing um, and to see what it looks like. So in order to capture um, more drawings of students, I did um, a load of portraits during the Arts Day this year. So this is me here drawing one of the students and the image on the right is the portrait of her. Um, really this was just to collect images of current students here is um, one of the students on the left from the drawing I did in the Arts Day and on the right I'm trying to apply that kind of textured line drawing um, slightly differently probably to the one that I did from the class of 1902. Um, it's a little bit harder and just to work out a way to kind of get dynamic movement in the line while doing a portrait. And the same here with another portrait from the Arts Day of the student on the left and then trying to apply the line to it on the right. Um, and just playing around. Um, what's been really nice about this residency is the ability to just play around with line and texture. One place where I found this useful is actually with current commission. So this is work from an exhibition that's on at the moment um, in the Riverbank Arts Centre in Newbridge, which is an exhibition. Um, this part of it is about Syrian refugees and kind of creating images of Syria actually from pre-war. So the technique I used in these drawings, so these large A1 landscape drawings of place in Syria, the first is in Homs, this one here is Crack de Chevalier, which is on a, a hillside in Syria. And exactly the technique I've been trying out with the portraits is what I ended up using for these landscapes. So a technique I was kind of developing for portraiture, I found worked really well with the landscapes. And because I've been trying that work out in Limerick, it kind of naturally happened as I was making work for this show. Um, and I've kind of created drawings that I never really would have created before. So that's been really interesting. The second part of the residency has been um, designing an observational drawing program for primary schools. This was quite a large part of why I was interested in this residency in the first place. And it's looking at uh, making a drawing program for primary school children that could be delivered by any teacher with any artistic ability uh, of any kind. Um, and so that has been a large part of what I've been doing this year. In the break between the um, autumn and the spring, um, semesters I started work on developing this which was a short six part program which was kind of a tester or beginner to to, to drawing up this observational drawing program and um, the reason I wanted to do it in that time is that I got to know the students a little bit a little bit about the workings of the college uh, a number of students were going on placement in the new year and I wanted to have the drawing program ready for them to take a look at see what they thought of it and potentially try some of it in their placements in the spring semester so each part of this kind of follows the same format. Um, you have a lesson plan which tells you how to explain to the class your materials preparation and step-by-step -step activity. You have usually an image which could be your setup um, or it could be an image you're going to use as part of the class. 
Um, and then what you have is examples. So all of the examples I've included in each lesson are examples of drawings by children. Um, I learned from talking to some of the student teachers that it was worthwhile to put the ages of the kids involved. Um, and these are images that can be used by the teacher to kind of gauge at what level the kids should be drawing, but also can be shown to children as examples of work. And um, what I have found is that if kids look at examples of work by other children, they find it quite achievable to do the task because they see a variety of different styles. They also don't believe they have to do it one way and there's only one way of doing it, it's the correct way. Um, so every single lesson in this has kids drawing examples with it. Another example of one of the lessons would be the upside down drawing. So here you have the lesson plan on the left and on the right, the image that's then used, you can see it here, it's then used in the lesson itself. So they draw upside down, you can find that the younger kids will do it for a shorter period of time, probably 15, 20 minutes, and the older kids will stick at it for probably between 30, 40, 50 minutes, depending on how they get into it. Other kind of lessons are like this, we're shape drawings and we're using grids. So you're getting into some of the techniques that I would use as an artist drawing um, and learning some of the some of the skills that anyone who's interested in drawing might want to learn. So here are more of the examples of that kind. So one of the things I would like to include in the drawing program next year is a history of art section. So I've been doing some drawing where I would draw a kind of an illustrated comic version of the lives of artists. Here I've got um, obviously an image of Vincent van Gogh draw some of his um, most famous paintings and write a short, almost like a comic strip story, history of art lesson um, on each of these artists. So that I would like in the final 12 part program that um, there would be a history of art section with each of those that complements the work they've just done. So um, early plans really for year two of the residency is to have a 12 part and drawing program fully written up for September. So I'm going to work on that a little bit over the summer. I would like the students to be able to test it from the beginning of the academic year next year so that I get full advantage of their feedback. I want to add the history of art elements that I've mentioned there. Um, I would like to show some of the studio work I've been doing. I'd like to show a work in progress in September. Um, I'd also like to set up a drawing club or group within the college so that one evening a week uh, we would meet and do various drawing exercises, set up a group, and create work that we could exhibit in, either around Christmas or probably in the spring semester when everyone's back in after the break. Uh, and so the final thing would be to look at some collaborative work with the other artists and residents. Um, so I'd just like to say um, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there today. Thanks very much for listening, looking through this, and I hope you have an enjoyable day. I look forward to hearing more about all the other residencies.